Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Yosh Crafter. My name's Julie and today I have got my whip and chat, my Sunday catch up. But first of all, I would like to say Happy New Year to everybody. Um, today is the 1st of January and it just happens to be a Sunday. So I thought I would do a whip and chat today catch you guys up what we've been up to over christmas and the new project i'm going to be starting for today it's um a year-long event and it is giraffe themed um it is for any craft and it is for deborah one of the ladies in zoom she is wet raising um awareness for autism i believe i believe that's what she's raising awareness for so she is doing a giraffe palooza 2023 so let's change camera and i will show you the project so this is the project i'm going to be starting today it is a pre-printed cross stitch kit and it came in as a set of two it was a b1 which i have already started and now there is this giraffe one so i'm going to start this today um for the whip and chat so let's wrangle the hoop get the hoop on this so you'll have to excuse me a minute while i get this on so let's start up at the top here we'll get the uh, giraffe head there we go try and wrangle this to get the hoop on no move it up a little bit there we go try and tighten it pull the fabric and all that fun stuff and it doesn't want to stay on there we go sorry I know I'm out of camera shot so there we go try and get a little bit tighter and then I can move my needle minder. There we go. And then I will wrangle all this fabric afterwards, after the uh, video. But like I said, I thought I would come in and start this one with you guys. So let me work out what colour we need first. So we want... We'll go for this dark blue here, which is number three. So move that out of the way. So number three is 310. So let me wrangle this thread. Sort it out. There we go. That wrap these other ones around. Keep them out of the way. So then I can concentrate on this thread. There we go. Right. Thread up. There we go. Right, 
I'm going to do this just with the one strand but I'm going to double it over make it two strands and do the loop method yeah ever since I um, discovered the loop method it's all I ever use I love working on 14 count Ada and even on 11 count Ada I will um, do it with uh, two strands in the uh, loop method on the pre-stamped kits sorry sip of coffee right let me just try and move the light down. Hopefully I won't blind you guys, but I still need to be able to see to stitch. So, let's get this first one in. So. Here we go. The first stitch. There we go. So, right. So let's get into what we have been up to. So, over the Christmas period, I actually forgot to keep up with my diary and what we'd been doing each day. So I'm just going to have to try and remember. So the last whip and chat I did, I believe was that last Sunday, a couple of weeks ago. I think it was about the 18th, something like that. So that Monday, the 19th, we did the Doll's House. It was the last Disney Doll House live of the year. Um because um, we hadn't received um, we hadn't received the next lot in the post and um, in the UK we've had a lot of um, postal strikes and um, a lot of delayed post and part works and so we decided that day because we hadn't got anything for the next week we thought it was unlikely that it would come within that week for us to be able to do a show the following monday so we decided to make it the last disney dollhouse live of the year i believe was it issue 45 and so yeah, that was the last Disney Dollhouse Live of the Year on the Monday. Um, then on the Tuesday, um, I was helping with the Eddie Sturbart. Um, again, Chris was waiting for her issues, but her husband Dave picks it up from the newsagents so he kindly let her have that issue that he'd picked up so she could carry on with the live build and then i think it was the same the week after the same the following tuesday um if i remember rightly there was a titanic i think or it might have been the wednesday there was a titanic i think I'm not sure um, but then the Thursday we did the crafting quiz so we we're doing uh, Horlicks's fortunes and then on the Friday um, like I said if I remember correctly uh, Horlicks did a live for the camper 
I think, if I remember correctly, because like I said, I've not been keeping up with my diary. So yeah, I believe. Um, then, uh, let me think, let me just have a look because I'm getting all confused with dates. So Friday. Right, so then, yeah, that Friday was Christmas Eve Eve. So then the Saturday, the 24th, was Christmas Eve. And we always have a takeaway and watch a Christmas movie. Watch a Christmas film. So we had... Well, Christmas Eve and then New Year's Eve, we always plan what we're going to have to eat. Um, but it's a, a choice between two different things because my husband and our eldest love their pizza, so we get Domino's. But then me and our youngest, we absolutely love a Chinese takeaway. So we always flip a coin and decide which we're going to have when. So we'll allocate one to heads, one to tails, and then we will toss the coin. And Christmas Eve, we had dominoes. So we had uh, pizza, um, a mini garlic bread. I think there was a, it was a family deal. You get two large pizzas a side and a dessert so yeah we got two large pizzas the side was a garlic bread a mini garlic bread and then for dessert we got some chocolate orange no we didn't get the chocolate orange no we didn't we got just the um domino's uh chocolate chip cookies because there was a choice between just the regular Domino's chocolate chip cookies or you could have the chocolate orange chocolate chip cookies. So we just got the regular chocolate chip cookies and we watched the film Nativity, the original, uh, the first one, the first Nativity one. So we watched that and had our pizza and yeah, it was a lovely evening and then <clears throat> yeah, so it's a really, really nice uh, evening that we had and I've just looked over at the camera and realised you guys can't see what I'm doing. So let me move the camera, sorry for wobbly cam, but there we go. I'm just sort of working round. Should we bring it down? Bring it down a bit so you guys can see what I'm actually doing. I'm sorry if at any point I hit the camera. I will try not to. But yeah, you guys can't see what I'm doing. So sorry for that. So yeah, then... Um, after we'd had our food, um, we decided we were going to go off and do our thing. Um, I think our eldest, he was um, with his mates in Discord and they were just chatting and they weren't playing anything. They were online gaming, they were just chatting. Um, our youngest... I think he was um, playing one of his uh, games, not online, but he was just playing one of his games. Um, and then I came up and I was stitching and watching YouTube and yeah, before Christmas and then this week in between Christmas and New Year. 
I have discovered quite a few new YouTubers. Um, of course, I watch all my regulars who I normally watch. Um, Shalene, as you all know, um, watching uh, Jen, Jen Jen. Um, I've been watching uh, Cross Stitch Bunny. I've been watching Laura at Stitching by the Shore. Um, and then, like I said, I've discovered a few new floss tubers and I'll just put in the search bar, you know, Whip Parade or um, um, Flossmas and, you know, it recommends lots of different um, floss tubers and Whip Parades and so, but I think what I'm going to start doing is writing down who I'm watching so I can uh, tell you guys who I've been watching um, give some shout outs and um, YouTube recommendations and so write down who I've been watching I'm going to start doing that this year um, but yeah, so, Christmas Day, so I woke up Christmas Day, um, oh no, also Christmas Eve, I forgot to say, in the afternoon, Christmas Eve, we were doing all the prep, so getting all the, uh, veggies sorted and peeled and in pans and so there's not as much uh, to do Christmas morning um, just have to kind of chop them up and get them boiling and so but as long as we get them peeled and uh, get the potatoes peeled and get the carrots peeled and top and tailed and the guinea pig and rabbit enjoyed those treats and bits they could have the um, bits from the carrot but they can't have the potato uh, they can't have starch or the guinea pig can't anyway she can't have starch um, so yeah they were absolutely loving that all the peelings um, so yeah we got all that done Christmas Eve so like I said Christmas morning so had my coffee sorted out the pets and their breakfast um, and then when my husband and the boys got up they were all having their coffee and coming round a bit and I was just um Finishing off the veggies, getting all the, well, putting out, uh, getting the potatoes chopped, uh, the carrots sliced, um, putting them in fresh water and just making sure that everything was on the hob and ready to go and for when my husband was awake, awake, <laughs> when, he, when he'd properly come round to... Uh, cook so you don't want to be cooking half asleep do you um but so yeah after we'd uh, started getting things on and ready we then opened gifts so we we're just all sat round and opening gifts and we go around each other and take turns and um, read out who the gifts are from and then open it and so we can see what each other got uh, gifted from different people um, 
kids in the past especially when the uh, boys were younger they just used to dive into the bags and start ripping paper and it's like oh who's that off it's like um i don't know <laughs> and the paper's over there in that pile it's like okay so yeah from from then on from after that christmas um yeah we just kind of slow things down a bit and just made sure we knew who got from who got yeah who got gifted what from who that word so yeah that was a bit embarrassing that yeah ringing up people and saying thank you and it's like uh yeah did they like so and so and did they like so and so it's like um that's what they got right okay so that was a little embarrassing that year so yeah since then we've just kind of slowed down and not let them go gung-ho so we still do it now at 19 and 17 um but yeah so after we opened gifts and um sorted out and um we made sure things were kept safe and in bags and then we put you know things out for recycling and paper in the bin and um so yeah we did that and then we were just sort of uh waiting on christmas dinner and um by the time we'd finished opening gift i think my husband said there's uh christmas dinner is about an hour away so there wasn't really time to do anything um i don't think i stitched christmas day i don't think i did um So then Boxing Day, I recorded my video, my Boxing Day unboxing. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I got gifted. Um, so yeah, I did that Boxing Day and then I think I was stitching. Uh, Oh, I've actually um, started writing in my new diary because I've got the new diary here and it starts Boxing Day. So I can actually tell you guys what we did at Boxing Day. So yeah, I recorded my video. Then for tea we had party food. So I did some sausage rolls, uh, spring rolls. We did... Um, Got some meats out, some cold cuts, we did um, a salad, um, we got all the condiments out and we did some um, little bread rolls, you know if people wanted to make a sandwich you know, with the cold cuts and we got all the condiments out we've got cranberry sauce apple sauce you know anything that anybody wanted it was all there to get so yeah we had party food for tea and then in the evening uh, um, In the evening I think I was stitching and watching YouTube and there was a live um, Horlicks was live um, he was starting no I think he was doing some gaming yeah, I think he was doing some gaming. I think. 
Um, then I was um, continuing to watch a bit of YouTube and then I was organising my um, diary and my crafty planner, my cross stitch crafty planner. Um, and then I was sorting out um, my diary that I use for these videos for writing down notes, sort of what I've done every day, what I've eaten, um, then what I've done in the evening. So I've got notes to re remind myself and to talk to you guys about what we've been up to. So yeah, that was Boxing Day. So then the next day, the 27th, um, I was stitching. I was working on the coffee sampler by Happy Mood Point. I was working on that. Um, I didn't write anything else down for that day. So the Wednesday, the 28th, I think, I was cross stitching some more uh, coffee sampler. Then Thursday, um, so Thursday, me and Mark actually went out for a walk. Um, we needed to go to the post office um, because we got one of the um, government uh, letters um, they're helping people with their energy bills um, so everybody got this letter with so much on and you have to take it to a post office and it will get put straight onto your meter um, it's sent by the gas company, but when you cash it in, it actually goes onto your electric meter. We don't know how that works. Cause like I said, it was the gas company that sent them out, but it actually goes on your electric meter. Um, so yeah, we needed to go to the post office and do that. So, um, if you look on a map, if you look uh, how the crow flies, it's not a far walk. Um, but if you look at it with your naked eye, it is a trek because to get to our post office, you've got to go down like a big dip. Um, you go down one side and then you come up the other side and the post office is at the top of that hill. So yeah, it's a bit of a walk. Um, to get there, it's a trek, but it's not too bad coming back because the um, one side is very sleek, very steep. And the other is a bit of a gentler hill. So, yeah, to go up the huge hill to get to the post office is pretty steep. But then when you're coming back home, it's not too bad. Um, but you do have to be careful if it rains because it does get slippy. And then obviously if it's been cold and icy or if it's snowed yeah you'll you'll soon get to the bottom of that hill 
<laughs> no, I'm not, no, I'm, no, that's quite dangerous. Um, but yeah, many a time I've gone in the wet and it's very uh, slippery and mossy and so yeah, we did that on uh, Thursday. We took Ted with us. We took it nice and steady and yeah it was it was quite a nice walk we got all bundled up and but like i said it had been wet and slippy and um it was still very cold um but yeah very cold but we got bundled up and yeah it was a nice little walk so we did that then in the evening when I came up here I had started the stitch on me uh, stitch along it's the Christmas band sampler um, so I believe currently there has been five releases and I'm still on two row, uh, row two um, but like Alyssa says you know there's there's no rush um, you don't have to you know stick to a time frame you just stitch it in your own time and yeah there's no pressure as she says there's no pressure so just stitch it at your own time and have fun. So. Then, where are we? Uh, let me just double check again where we're up to. Getting all confused with my days. Uh, Friday the 30th, I believe, no, I think I'm getting myself all confused. Right, when I said about Horlicks last Friday doing the gaming, he didn't, because that Friday I think he had scheduled to start one of his gifts that he got for Christmas a wood uh, kit go and check his channel out it was the week before that he'd done the gaming yeah the week before he'd done the gaming that Friday he'd done the wooden um, I'm not I'm not gonna give it away go check his channel out uh, Horlix with an X um, because the, this Friday the 30th well last Friday um, he didn't do a stream I don't think I don't think he did do a stream um, but then Saturday the 31st Christmas Eve so yesterday technically yeah yesterday Christmas Eve so we had the other meal we had the Chinese takeaway this time so me and our youngest were very very pleased at that we're having a Chinese takeaway so I got my spare ribs that I normally get um, Chinese style ribs um, so I had that normally my husband will get himself a soup and then we will share some sweet and sour batter balls um, he decided he didn't want a soup this time so he said that he will have the batter balls I will have my spare ribs 
but then we will share the side that comes he said i've ordered some chips to come with it but then in the end he did end up giving me a couple of batter balls and um one each to our youngest and eldest so what that was for i think you get about 10 in a portion so yeah he managed about six uh batter balls which is really really good for him um that's a, a really good meal for him he doesn't normally uh eat that much but after he'd finished it um he said yeah i wasn't going to let uh the food defeat me <laughs> so yeah he was uh he had uh sweet and sour sauce to dip them in he also got a portion of gravy that was mainly for the chips but he ended up dipping the batter balls in there as well um so our eldest i think he got chicken fried rice and our youngest, I don't know whether he had chicken as well or whether he got pork. But yeah, they both went for some uh, fried rice dishes. Um, and then when you order over so much, you get some free prawn crackers. So theirs came as well. And I think the boys were eating them later on yes they were they were snacking on them when uh, we were watching the countdown um so yeah we had that and then again we would, we decided we were going to go off and do our own thing um we had some uh, chats uh me and mark were in chat with our YouTube family for a little bit. Um, I think I came, I came off about half past 10, maybe 11 o'clock. Um, I knew my mum was due to ring. Well, she normally rings on uh, New Year's Eve, but um, she didn't end up doing um so i'm presuming she uh must have fallen asleep um you know mum and dad and so i normally speak to them and say happy new year and but i'm guessing they fell asleep um so um and then i think Mark came off about half eleven, so then we all headed back downstairs. Um, well, our eldest was already downstairs because he has his uh, computer and uh, PlayStation and everything set up in the kitchen, so that's usually where he is. And then the rest of us are upstairs. So about half eleven, we all headed back downstairs. Um, got a drink um, we got some snowballs at Christmas time and just hadn't drunk them so yeah we we cracked those out for New Year's we got um, a pack a far pack of the small bottles so yeah we he each had a drink and toasted in the new year and waited for the chime of Big Ben and um, was watching the fireworks and again it was amazing um, we had 
a tribute to Queen Elizabeth and then the reign of King Charles. Um, they did a um, light display for Ukraine, the blue and the yellow and you know standing together and people offering to take um, families in, to take in refugees. Um, there was a pride uh, light display, so all the rainbow colours, which then turned into um, the um, red and the pink, the love and the hearts and um, then trying to think um, I think when they were talking about uh, pride they said um, 50 years of pride so the 50, 50th anniversary and I think they said it's been 20 years of London Pride, I believe. Um, but yeah, really, really good um, light display and they were showing all the crowds and all the people down at the docks and watching the fireworks. Um, And then they um, played all Land Zine. So then they were showing everybody that were, um, well, some little groups in the middle, some people that kind of knew each other and friends. They were doing uh, all Land Zine, but um, not many people were. Like I said, I think there were a few groups of people doing it, but not um, everybody like they normally do. You know, grabbing a, a stranger's hand and um, so I'm not too sure why that was. Maybe there was some restrictions or people were told not to do it. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, maybe. I'm not sure, but um, then after I'd finished my drink, um, I think about quarter one, one o'clock maybe, I headed back upstairs um, and then I decided to watch um, Uh, what's she called? I can remember her name, but not her channel. I'm going to have to look. Give me a second. I'm going to have to look. Uh, I can remember the lady's name is... A is it Amy? Uh... that one Amy Taylor yes I was watching um, some of Amy's video she was doing a whip parade um, so yes she was doing a whip parade so yeah one of the new new youtubers I've discovered is Amy Amy Taylor and um, she absolutely loves uh, Country Companions. Um, I think a while back, maybe a month back, um, she got an absolute bargain on Facebook Marketplace. Somebody was selling Country Companion kits and yeah, 
she went and got some and then apparently a couple of days later the same lady messaged her again and said I've found a couple a few more kits uh, smaller kits so she's like you know would you be interested so Amy messaged back and again she got an absolute steal so yeah she loves stitching uh, country companions um, and I think I've got halfway through her uh, whip parade so um, she's mentioned in previous videos that she wants to give whip go a go uh, for this year um, just like me she wants to get some finishes <laughs> or at least some really good progress um, as well as country companions um, I think she has some uh, full coverage pieces um, actually talking about full coverage pieces um, another uh, cross stitcher Floss tuber that I found this year is Dizzy Stitcher. Oh my goodness me, he is amazing. He absolutely loves his full coverage pieces. He's got quite a few full coverage pieces on the go. Um, he's originally from the UK but lives in Australia. I was watching one of his recent videos and after watching it I thought yeah I think I need, I need to find out where you're from because I think I recognize your accent your twang so I went right back and watched his first video and he said yeah I'm originally from the UK and we have just moved to Australia and that first video was from about two years ago so his uh, first uh, video so yeah definitely go check out Amy's channel Amy Taylor and Dizzy Stitcher and if I remember I will try and link them both in the description box below but yeah definitely go check out those uh, channels and if I remember anybody I mention I will try and put the link down below because I've mentioned a few that I already watch uh, Shaleen uh, Jen's world of stitches Jen's world of stitches I'm going to say Jen's World of Stitching, but it's not. It's Jen's World of Stitches. Um, who else have I mentioned? I mentioned Shaleen. I mentioned Jen. Uh, Laura, Stitching by the Shaw. Um, she does... Um, she does some little projects um like ornament size projects or she will break patterns down to make them into little ornaments um so for example i'm doing the cup of chia from shannon christine shannon christine designs she has that same pattern but she has broken the pattern down so she will just stitch one of the cups and then make it into a ornament a little christmas decoration to hang on a tree um i think that's a really cool idea uh who else did i mention who else <gasps> excuse me i've got hiccups um i can't remember who else i uh, mentioned No, I can't remember who else. Um, but yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, yes, that was New Year's Eve. 
yeah I was that's what I was saying after we'd watched the countdown I was watching um Amy I was catching up a little bit on her uh videos I was watching her whip parade I still need to finish that I think I watched about half of it maybe three quarters and then I could feel my eyes going so I thought yeah I need to get to bed now um I think by this time it was like two just after two in the morning and that is late for me but I thought I can't just go straight to sleep after watching the fireworks and I need to watch um need to watch something so I uh, decided to put Amy on but like I said I need to finish that so then on to today so today is New Year's Day so I'm yeah so um this morning I did my usual had my coffee fed the pets um uh washed up and then I got on with taking the Christmas decorations down. Um, we put our decorations up on the 1st of December and then they will come down on the 1st of January. So yeah, that was today. So um, I got the boxes and everything out. I got them ready and laid on the table so then i just went all around downstairs so all around the kitchen i went all around the living room and picked up the um little knickknacky bits and cards and teddies and little bits of tinsel that were over the uh mantelpiece um and yeah just started um putting them into uh the boxes and then when i'd done all that and got all the um like little um tea light things and little uh, glass jars and making sure they were all in a box and nice and protected and then i tackled the tree um we had some um little boxes that my husband wasn't using he said you know these would be ideal for the baubles um so yeah i was using some uh, part work boxes that he was just gonna bin he said these would be ideal for the baubles you know stop them rattling around in the bottom of a big box and getting damaged so i put all the baubles into i spread them over two boxes so they weren't crammed in but they were kind of I put um, like one of the uh, Santa seat covers, I put one of them in the bottom so they were kind of cushioned. Um, so I was, yeah, taking the bits down off the tree um, and then sort of sorting out any other um, decorations and making sure... Um, like the light up decorations went back in their boxes and we've got a a light up uh, Santa uh, snowman and then I had to you know make sure I took all the batteries out put the batteries in the bottom of the box and then put the decoration in itself so yeah boxes in boxes and baubles in boxes and so I think we're organised again with our decorations. Um, they're being stored in our little, um, what we call a lean-to. It's like a little um, section down the side of the house that then leads out into the garden. So, yeah, we used to store um, all our um, gardening stuff you know the lawnmower and the hedge trimmer and the until we got the shed so all those are out in the shed so then there is room in uh in the lean to there's room in there for stuff like that rather than it all going back up in the loft so yeah all that has been organized and sorted out today 
um, the tree itself um, a lot of the bottom branches have snapped they've come away from the rod in the middle um, they won't sort of stay they droop down um, so we need to decide uh, what we're going to do with the uh, tree we might be able to do something with it we're not sure but for next year I would love to get a new Christmas tree um, the decorations and bits that I have in here in the bedroom um, the little fiber optic one we were supposed to get a bulb for it but um, yeah we tried looking around town we couldn't get one my husband found one online but never got around to ordering it so um, I did have my advent tree out um, that did light up um, it did play music but um, I didn't do any flossmas or anything like that this year um i don't know i just i just wasn't feeling it this year so i didn't do a flossmas um i did do one last year and i really enjoyed it but this year i just wasn't feeling it i just yeah i just wasn't feeling it this year so i didn't do one um but yeah i keep going off on one don't i <laughs> keep going off subject um but yeah so the rest of today um was just like a, a normal sunday really um like i said took decorations down um after i'd done that i was sorting a bit of washing um my husband and our youngest was getting on with sunday dinner uh we had a beef stew it was lovely um over Christmas we did have um, some beef um, and there was some left over so my husband said right New Year's Day you know normal Sunday dinner he said I'll do a beef stew so he did some potatoes some carrots um, I made some dumplings so we had beef stew and dumplings and then my husband when he went to the shop he came back with some stuffing mix right okay what's the stuffing mix for why you know why couldn't it work for the normal shop and why did you buy it from the shop and he's like well don't you want stuffing balls with uh, beef stew <laughs> i looked at him confused like stuffing with beef stew he's like well yeah we can just roast them in the oven crisp them up he said you know we'll have dumplings and stuffing bowls he said why not I'm like okay we'll give it a go and oh my goodness was he right he's like yeah a nice soft fluffy dumpling but then a nice crisp um stuffing bowl so yeah i'd uh, rolled them into balls and we just put them in the oven to bake and crisp up and yeah if you drop it into the gravy roll it around the gravy a little bit it kind of softens it up but when you bite into it it's still a stuffing ball it's still nice and crisp and oh my goodness he was so right so beef stew and dumplings with stuffing balls and oh my gosh it was amazing it was amazing yeah loved it <laughs> making you all salivate i'm sorry um but yeah so after sunday dinner we got um tidied up and washed up and i made a coffee and then i came up here and started recording a few videos for you guys so um before this before i started recording this i have actually done something new for my channel i have done a stitchy planner video um so basically i just go through what i'm going to stitch for the month 
so i am doing whip go and i am doing the cross stick with 24 hours of cross stitch so you will see that video first and then you will see this one afterwards maybe an hour or so afterwards it just depends how long this video is going to take to uh, export and then upload to YouTube from um, uploading the other one because that that previous planner one has already exported I just need to um, upload it to YouTube and sort out description boxes and I still need to sort out my um, Word documents that I copy and paste um, like for floss tubes and other videos and, and things like that so I need to sort out um, my Word documents for my description boxes um, so yeah that is everything from me I think we are all caught up um, so yeah like I said we did the last Disney dollhouse a couple of weeks ago so we'll be we'll be back tomorrow um, so yeah tomorrow for the Disney dollhouse at seven o'clock so my channel and Crafty Chris's channel and also the Disney dollhouse Facebook group and the northern model northern model builders and crafters Facebook group it will get streamed to both of those as well both those Facebook groups so yeah we have had a delivery uh, between uh, well it was just before just before Christmas just before all like the postal strikes and so it did come in just before Christmas um, which means we are due another delivery anytime um, but yeah because there was at least a couple of weeks delay on that delivery coming in so yeah there could be another delivery of the Disney dollhouse anytime soon um, I know the Titanic's due for my husband and he says normally a week after that's come in Disney dollhouse comes in so maybe another couple of weeks maybe no I don't, yeah maybe another couple of weeks uh, but over the Christmas period we still had the craft and quiz so we did a craft and quiz the same week as the Disney dollhouse and then we did another one the week after um, we was going to do bingo and um, Horlicks's fortunes um, but I think there was only one person interested in the bingo so we just stuck with um, Horlicks's fortunes which was really really good always enjoy Horlicks Sport Tunes it's always really really good fun um, but yeah so <laughs> so um, back to regular scheduling from tomorrow so Disney Dollhouse Eddie Sturbart Titanic Crafting Quiz yeah so I will see you guys tomorrow for Disney Dollhouse Live. I think it's issue 46 or 47. I think we, we, do we finish on 45? Yeah, so issue 46. Um, so yeah, come and join me and Crafty Quit. Me, yeah. Why have I suddenly gone tongue tied? So come and join me and Crafty Chris for Disney Dollhouse Live tomorrow, seven o'clock GMT. Um, so yeah, I'm going to let you guys go because I've been going over an hour and I think that is long enough. Um, yeah, I'm just now waffling at this point. So I'm going to let you guys go and enjoy the rest of your day. And remember guys, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. Bye, guys.